What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. Today's video, I want to talk about how you guys can make coins and prepare for Black Friday. Today, we're going to go through uh, what we think is going to happen with the market today, little coin making methods and stuff you guys could do. My plan in particular, what I'm looking to do. Uh, and yeah, we'll get through all of that in today's video. So this is going to be a really good video for you guys before Black Friday starts today. So before we get to the video today, if you guys can, drop a like on the video. Let's hit 100 likes. That would be awesome. Subscribe channel if you guys are new around here. Turn the notification bell on as well. Get involved with Twitch and the Discord. Both will be in the description. Discord's got free guides, free training tips all in there for you guys. Let's talk about different ways you guys can make coins today. Um, one part of the market, uh, let's start from the beginning, right? Let's start about what we're looking at today first before we really get into it so obviously in our earlier video today we did talk about the best of team of the week we got Messi, we got ramos we got money we got Conte. what i expect today is going to happen these guys are going to drop a little bit lower in price now at some point people will say okay this is too low so maybe not for the contes or maybe the Messi's or, or you know the Mane's, but for a guy like renato sanchez for example because he's so low rated right and he's going to get packed a lot today with lightning rounds i'm just wondering if because he's going to be used now a lot of people don't know this but pro qualifiers are this weekend and renato sanchez is an 82 overall and they need a max price or sorry a max rating for their team so i think this would still be a very popular card if they still haven't bought their teams yet uh and i you could see a little bit of a rebound on a guy like this now, what's happening today is he initially dropped to like 190. He rebounded back to 210 because the supply dried up. People still had to buy teams. And now he's kind of coming back down again as there's more pack supply. People are understanding that they're going to be in packs tomorrow. There's going to be lightning rounds. People are selling this card off ready to go uh, for Friday. So, you know, just kind of monitor the prices. Don't get in a situation like me last year where you kind of like see the card dropping and dropping and dropping and then you pick the price that you like pick the price where you see people not letting the card go under before you buy it's almost and i always say this it's always better to buy with the crowd when the guy is getting mass bought up rather than buying early and losing potential profit because you bought a little bit too early it's almost impossible to find that lowest time it's a sense that you gotta have and very few people in this uh world with fifa knows when that lowest time is so i think the best thing to tell you guys is when it stops dropping and dropping and people are buying this card up again say he goes up three four k like right away that's the time to buy because you know people are ready to go they're seeing you know supply has dried up they're they're ready to go they want to buy the player for their team and that's what you're going to see happen so look out for some of these lower tier guys gomez will probably be another one if he drops that low renato another guy that i would probably focus on most likely this would be the guy that i would focus on if i was going to be uh doing this sort of trading so let's see what happens on that um we're going to be getting a new promo team um this you know this friday so if you look right here this is the newest loading screen that they have we got a french we got a brazil with some decent shooting we got a uh, french with dribbling and we have a date on the the third card who i think this is going to be i think if Bappe is going to get one of the cards I think that, um, you know, Van Dyke, I've been hearing names, Van Dyke possibly. Remember, he's out for the year, so he's not going to be getting any performance-based cards. If he is going to be getting a card, it is going to be through a promo like this. The Brazilian one could be anywhere between Lucas Moura, um, probably not Bobby Firmino, but that could still be a possibility, obviously. And the right side of card, it might be Ter Stegen. So if it's not Van Dyke, right, maybe it's Firmino, and maybe the right side is Ter Stegen. That day refers to, I think, when he got his... He's the first Barcelona keeper to get an assist. And that's, like, one of those records. So, something also to note, and I don't think anybody's talked about this, but I believe, I'm kind of uh, sure on this, rule break or record breakers, we're going to call that rule breakers a lot, by the way, to get them confused. Record breakers discard for about 67k or to 70k or something like that. I remember packing a, a Wondolowski record breaker. I think it was either last year or the year before that. And they discard for like 70k. I wonder if EA changes the um, the discard value of the player. That'd be very interesting to see. Because they are going to come out with a full team most likely. Uh, and that's going to be really interesting. Now what I think we're going to see because of this. 
people are going to wake up. They're going to see this loading screen and they're going to be like, oh my God, we're getting a new promo team on top of best of. I got a panic sell, right? So a lot of these guys are going to get panic sold in my opinion. And that is where you look at the popular page. This is my plan today. Buying a lot of guys that are out of packs already that are dropped in price. For example, a guy like Marcus Rashford, a guy that is dropping potentially because of panic, but he's out of packs. This is a guy that when lightning rounds are done, he's going to rebound a lot in price. So a guy like Rashford for me is somebody I'm looking at. Um, I expect the rise across the board today. I'm expecting some pretty big rises on icons and on top tier golds like Mbappe, uh, like Neymar. I'm going to be buying Neymar before 6 p.m. today most likely. Messi's going to go up a lot. He's out of packs. Ronaldo. I expect some decent rises with the amount of coins that are coming onto the game today. I expect those top, top tier cards uh, to be bought up quite a bit. Now, what I also think you might see happen on the lower tier meta, right? Anything that's like 150k and lower is probably going to start to drop in price with the supply of lightning rounds unless they are not being packed because they're out of packs. For example, a guy like, uh, who would I like look at right now? Um walker walker is a good card to look at he's eighty thousand coins right now that for me again is if he drops to like 70 to 72 that's a buy for me because again he's out of packs he's not getting that supply that every other card on the market's getting because they're in packs so something to look out for in the panic is definitely out of pack golds um if you need to buy any cards last minute for your teams like the top tiers like neymar um like you know mbappe Messi, these kind of guys, Veron as well as a huge one in my opinion. Look out for those before 6 p.m. today. Um, another thing to look out for is past team of the weeks, past special cards for panic. Now, I want to bring you guys last year's road to the final team and how much a lot of their players went up a lot after Black Friday. We've mentioned in previous videos some of these roads to the finals were really good buys on the panic of Black Friday. And they went up a lot because what did we say was that people want to build teams with cards that have potential to go up in price, but also go up in overall with live stats. So if I show you guys um, Militao here, he gets an initial rise to 659, right? This is the Friday 634. He then goes all the way up to 730 the following Thursday. And again, we're going to have games next Tuesday and Wednesday. So if there's guys, and you got to look at the groups, obviously. I don't have the groups put up here, but look at the groups, right? See if a card is dropping, even though they're guaranteed an upgrade, right? For example, if you see a guy like a Kanji, right? I believe Dortmund are first in their group. So if he drops to like 195 today, right? That for me is a look at a buy. That for me is a buy. I don't know if he, they're top of the group, but they might be first or second. They probably are going to go through Again, we're going to have a clearer picture after match day five where some of these cards are going to be and people are going to buy into those cards depending on uh, what seed they are in the group. If they're third place, maybe you don't see as much buyback, but if they're in first or second, you're going to see a really nice rebound on those guys and then some. You're going to see some pretty good profit on that. So look out for cards that are top of their groups from team one and also on team two. Again, Team 1 is probably more rare than Team 2 because it was later on. Um, but again, a guy like Fonzo Davies, right? If it goes down to 480 today, right? That's a card that has to rebound in price. Bayern are guaranteed to go through, right? Maybe you look at a guy like Muriel if he drops to 60, right? Promise plays against uh, Liverpool this Tuesday or Wednesday. So if if Ajax lose and Atalanta beat Midland, well, he's going to get bought up a lot that Muriel. So that's something I'd be looking at. These roads to the finals, I'd really be paying attention to. I'd be looking at any rule breakers, um, guys that are not going to be affected by what's coming in the pack. So if we see, say, for example, uh, I don't know, a Roberto Firmino, right? And you see some of the Prem Strikers dropping, but Firmino's price on the first day is like six, 700K. Well, you're going to see some of the meta, you know, strikers in the Premier League that did get panic sold go back up again. So just be on the lookout for any panic selling on past Team of the Week's past specials. Uh, that's going to be a really good play today, especially seeing some of the rises that they had today on the market. For example, this Lorente went up so much today. Um, you know, Lozano went up a lot today as well. If you want to take a look at that stuff, you definitely could. 
Another thing you guys can look at as well is we got games this weekend. So ones to watch is for me are going to be a really good look as well if they're dropping for whatever reason. We are getting games on Saturday and Sunday this week. And guys like Sonic, guys like Havertz, right? These guys, Rodrigo as well. They get hyped before their games. So you guys can potentially make a profit by buying some of these cards in the panic uh, today before lightning rounds. Now, I think if you're trying to buy players for a team, if it's a top tier card, you either want to buy before lightning rounds or you want to wait for that first lightning round and just see what happens with the supply. You might be able to catch a nice snipe there. But I think you want to be on that on that card by that first lightning round because if not, I think it's going to start to rise like 40 to 55 minutes. Well, that was a random number, but an hour pretty much after the first lightning round, you'll see a lot of rise uh, on a lot of the top tier cards in the market. I also expect um, the icon market to absolutely soar today. Um, we saw a nice little buyback today on the icons, uh, but we're going to see a pretty nice rise. Again, I keep referring to this graph, but this is still down a good 18 points. It's going to rise a lot. There's going to be a lot of coins in the market. Any super usable icon, if you see getting panic sold uh, today on the market, definitely get yourself involved with that. Um, all you got to do is go to the version, icons, all, okay? And then just sort by games played. And you can take a look at cards that, you know, have had the most games played. For example, F Zola is one of the most used. He is the most used icon. Crespo, Baby Blanc, right? If you see a 1.2 on Baby Blanc, snatch that because it's going to go to 1.4, 1.45. We're going to see some really good rebounds on icons like we did see last year. Um, as long as the market goes to plan today, the market should absolutely fly um, after 6 p.m. So take a look at icons. You can also look at the basic filter on icons uh, on that first hour as well. Um, so you just go to basic, you go to icon, and you try to find some really good undercuts. Because again, lightning rounds, if people pack icons out of lightning rounds, they have to be super quick because the lightning rounds go by so fast. They This could be an opportunity to pick up a really big undercut on those. Now, another thing to look out for today is going to be um, an objective, possibly. We might get an objective record breaker uh, or an SPC. If we do get an, uh, an objective, find the requirements that are on the objective and pick up some of the players that fit the, the needs of that requirement. For example, this guy, Ake, right here, as part of the Bellerin SPC. Now, you can take a look right here. He was 7.6. He drops all the way to 5.8, right? With the supply, he's getting outdated, obviously. Now, all of a sudden, Bellerin is a max overall 77 squad. He automatically shoots up to 12,000 coins. So it really shows you that if you can find players that fit multiple categories in the objective, you can make a lot of coins by mass buying um, at 6 p.m. or, you know, whenever the objective obviously comes out. Uh, another thing to look out for is obviously supply today is going to be quite heavy on a lot of the lower tier guys. So if they're not required for any objective or any SBC, I do expect that mark to drop today. Um, the guys like St. Maximin, right, you're going to start to see really drop in price today. Um, guys like Hazard are going to probably go a little bit lower as well. Um, so if you have any of those like lower tier guys, Firmino, Hazard, Lucas, they should drop a little bit more today. You guys can dish those out if you want to. Another thing to look out for would be SBC fodder. Uh, they're going to drop today, especially if we don't get an SPC that makes them stay up in price. Um, and I think it's going to be good because we're going to be getting SPCs that will require them. Um, so that's something that I would be definitely looking at uh, would be SPC fodder. Seeing the percentage drop off on some of those. Look for the good nationalities and look for the guys that have gone up the most in the past uh, with the SPCs we got this week. Um, for example, like a guy that I would be looking at. Right, if we're looking at a guy like, let's say, uh, Trent, okay? So Trent's an 87 overall. Right now, he's currently 24,000 coins, right? He was about like 20K you could have got him at. He goes up to almost like 24, 25, right? That, if that comes back down to 18, 19, that for me is an opportunity to buy. Um, get involved with fodder today. You guys definitely can get on it. Um, and other than that, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to preparing uh i'm gonna try to do tech avion today but the problem with tech avion is we're gonna be getting some flash sbcs and i went through some of them last year and we got a 45k pack we got a rare electron players pack that's gonna supply the market with some of those lower tier cards as well so be very careful with that um 
I think with those mid-tier meta golds as well, the Pug Buzz, um, and, you know, those kind of guys, Sun, they're going to hit a low point today. And like the Renato info we were talking about, let them drop, 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 and drop before people start mass buying them up and potentially needing them for teams. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video today. I think I covered a lot of the points that we want to talk about today. Get involved with the panic this morning. There will be some. Promo is going to start a little bit early, though. So, make sure you're up. 2 p.m. UK time, most likely, is when it starts. Uh, 6 hours, 36 minutes are left with the packs. We're going to be having some new things put in as well. That's probably when the Flash species will come out as well. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys in the video soon. Peace out.